The Dairy Queen sign promotes spicy sweet glazed strips and DoorDash delivery. But people are stopping by to take photos of the spicy message on the flip side. Parking lot, not for drug sales, thank you. I do know that this area has some issues, I would guess, and I'm assuming that the Dairy Queen was tired of it. Robert Howard grew up near 71st Street and Michigan Road. <laughs> I can't help it. It's funny as hell. They have a point. They really do have a point. It really is actually sad because, wow, Dairy Queen of all places, Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen owner Michael Yako did not want to appear on camera. He says he put this message up last night because he's fed up with drug activity around his business. But he lives in this neighborhood and says he's not going anywhere. Yako has owned the Dairy Queen 10 years and supports police and community organizations. The litter around his business indicates drug activity. The owner says heroin is the problem. He has found needles in the parking lot and inside bathroom. I think it's really brave. I don't know that I would have done that, but I don't, I, I guess if it's really a problem, then that's, you know, they're addressing it. The owner says it's not unusual to have to call police a couple of times a week because of drug activity. I'm Rich Knight, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Now to give you some perspective, Metro Police is reporting about 100 police incidents in the last month within about a mile radius of 71st and Michigan where that DQ is located.